In a complete shocker today, Google just sold Motorola Mobility to Lenovo. Samsung seems to consider ditching TouchWiz Magazine's UX under some Google pressure. And Apple is back to positive iPad market share according to analysts. I'm Jaime Rivera, and boy am I happy I didn't buy that wooden Moto X in bamboo. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start today off with some official news as the IDC has just shared their estimates for sales in tablets during the holiday season and the iPad is up again. And actually this is significant because the iPad has not been up in market share in a long time. They've been losing market share every year because of the fact that obviously cheap Android tablets in China make a better deal for a lot of people. But still they're up 33% of the tablet market share. They own one third of the market worldwide compared to 29.7 that they had on the previous quarter and this is 15 points up compared to the next tablet competitor, which is Samsung. So this is great. We just wonder if Apple's going to keep the streak of growing uh, with no more tablets for the rest of the year. Now let's talk about LG as one of the highly expected smartphones for MWC 2014 is the LG G Pro 2. And I know I almost got confused with the name and especially because of the fact that this phone looks a lot like the G2. It looks almost identical. The only difference is that this phone is going to be bigger and apparently it will bring a better processor and a better everything. So we should be expecting for this G Pro 2 to make some big fanfare at MWC. Obviously we will be covering it live. Stay tuned. We are expecting for some more links of the front, but so far it does look good. Now let's talk about the Samsung Galaxy S5 and two very interesting rumors. First of all, we get the first leaked photograph of the camera and apparently this is the 16 megapixel ISO cell shooter. We're not expecting the 20 megapixel shooter anymore, though obviously there could be variations. And aside from that, we get a ton of model number leaks, which is interesting, but the bad and odd part is that apparently Samsung is considering sticking to 1080p displays for this phone, uh, which is something we did not expect. We were waiting for 2K displays, though hey, 1080p is not really bad though. But the odd news for Samsung have not ended as apparently the only company and the only group of people in the world that don't really like Samsung's new magazine UX, you know, the one we saw at CES, is Google. Apparently Google has been in talks with Samsung asking them to please change that UI to make it look more like Android because it seems that Google wants to keep that even though Android was supposed to be a free operating system. And still apparently Samsung has abided, apparently the company will get rid of the magazine UX and probably not bring it to the Galaxy S5, which is very bad news. We actually did like this UX, so I mean, cool, come on. And finally, for the very shocking news of the day, that was not the only odd news about Google. The company has just sold Motorola Mobility to Lenovo for $3 billion. Just for you to compare, they bought it for Motorola for $13 billion and they're selling it for three. And the reason why is because Google will retain most of the patents and then the hardware division will go to Lenovo, sort of like what IBM did with their laptop lineup to Lenovo as well. And this is really shocking. This is extremely shocking. I mean, the Moto X was just gaining traction. A lot of people were falling in love with this phone and now we don't know what to expect. So that leads me to the question of the day. What do you feel about this shocking news that just happened right now? You know, Google selling Motorola to Lenovo. In my particular case, I'll be honest with you, I am worried because even though I do like the Lenovo ThinkPads that were previously from IBM, I do not like uh, Lenovo's smartphone lineup every time I've seen it at CES. So leave us a comment down below. Do you think this is good or bad? Because I don't think it's good. And friends, you know the drill. If you wanted to get the news earlier before this video was filmed, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.